Greetings, in this quick video I want to show you how to fix a Roku TV that's making a static sound. And this particular one's an Insignia, but it doesn't matter. You might have another Roku that's a Toshiba, a Pioneer, a Hisense. Doesn't matter, it's the same concept. So the first thing I want you to do is go to the app that you're getting the static sound and then try a different video. So look, for example, if I'm getting that on a YouTube uh, app, go to a different video. Try a different app completely with a different video and see. It could just be the app uh, or that video and not the actual TV itself. Now, actually, after you try that, what I want you to do is click on the mute button. Sometimes the, you will have it on mute, but it'll still make a staticky sound. And then next, I want you to go to the video, watch a video, and then I want you to blast it. I want you to go all the way up to 100 while the video is playing. Now, what that'll do, sometimes there is a kink in the sound and the speakers, and sometimes that will remedy the issue. Now, next thing I want you to do if that does not work is go to the home, click on the home button on your remote, go all the way down to settings, and then from settings, what I want you to do is go all the way down to system, and then I want you to go all the way down to power and then go to system restart and I did have an issue with static on this TV I did a system restart and that fixed the issue but it might not fix it on yours but go ahead and restart it and see if that will fix the issue if that does not fix the issue what I want you to do is actually go all the way to the back and just unplug the bad boy you could unplug it from the wall or just unplug it from the TV and let it sit for a good five minutes, plug it back in, and then see if that will work. You're gonna find that that's gonna fix the majority of the TVs with a static sound. All right, now if you've tried that, it still doesn't work, we're gonna go back to home. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to settings again, and then we're gonna to go to audio. Go to audio, and then what I want you to do is go all the way down to digital auto format, and I want you to choose stereo. Back out of that after you've done stereo and see if that fixes your sound issue. A lot of times that will fix the issue. If not, go back to audio. And then what I want you to do is just play around with the audio. Try different, try different things. Try on high, try, try on low, try on different settings, okay? You can switch, go to preferred streaming format, go to Adobe, go to DTS. All right, now, if you've tried that and it does, still does not work, what I want you to do is go back to home, and I want you to go back to settings, and then I want you to go back to system. All right, and then I want you to do a software update. You might have a small update or you might have a big one. Go ahead and do a software update and then restart your TV and see if that fixes the issue. All right, now, after you've tried that, still doesn't work, go back to home. Go back to settings. All right, then go back all the way down to system. And then I want you to do a full factory restore. So go to advanced system settings and factory reset. Now, if you do that, it's gonna wipe out all your apps, all your personal information, and it'll be like it's a brand new TV out of the box. This is the last resort, all right? That will be the only thing that will fix the issue if it is fixable, all right? And I hope that does work and does the trick. Let me know in the comment section which method worked for you. And make sure you subscribe.